Uh, Vang Pao got bail. Tell us about that. Who wants to talk about Vang Pao? Well, we both want this one. But yeah, well, the thing, is, well, the thing is, it's it's fascinating because this wouldn't be happening had not a dodgy deal been brokered by one Henry Kissinger with the Hmong to ally themselves, the Hill people of uh, Laos and Cambodia and Vietnam, to ally themselves with the United States during the Vietnam War, and in exchange for that, guaranteed citizenship regardless of the outcome of the war. Of course, we turned our back essentially on the Hmong after the Vietnam War, and they've ever since been. Uh, hunted down, uh, persecuted, and uh, having to go through the Thai refugee process and so forth. So the two huge, largest Hmong communities in the United States are in San Jose and Minnesota. And there's a, a lot of Hmong people and a lot of support for Vang Pao, who's the, the leader of, of the Hmong community. And, and recently, he tried to uh, conspire to take well. over laws. And, and, uh, and, and as such, um, he just received bail on this. Yeah, well, they were originally not wanting to give him bail, and this is a guy that's, I'm, he's, he's not too far away from death's door as it is. I mean, uh, uh, holding him in custody for the duration of this trial is a death sentence probably. But the fact is, is that, and what people really know about General Vang Pao is that uh, this guy is a true hero. There are hundreds, literally thousands of U.S. servicemen that owe their lives uh, to this man from his, their time in Vietnam. Uh, the efforts that uh, uh, the general and his, uh, his soldiers did to protect our troops was just amazing. And we abandoned him. Um, what's even worse here, what's more ironic, is what has happened here. The general is being charged with uh, uh, violations of the Neutrality Act because he's, of course, trying to uh, uh, wage war against a country that is not our enemy, much like back in the 60s and 70s when they came to him and wanted to wage war in Laos. Uh, against a country that we were not at war with. He helped the U.S. do that. So it's, it, it's really painful seeing the, the irony to have not just, this wasn't just a casual uh, uh, arrest. There was a, this was an ATF prosecution of him, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, uh, that, uh, that many people are saying was, was entrapment. Was clearly entrapment. Yeah. And, uh, and they got him, they got uh, 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 Colonel Harrison Jack, who, a guy that also owes his life uh, to the general there from back in Vietnam, and 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 for what? Uh, to try and stop a guy to from try to overthrow a communist in that Laos that is killing all of the all of his Hmong countrymen. people that are left. This hunting the few Hmong that are people left. Down. Now we can go. We can go. We can kill. go to Iraq to kill Iraqis, Arabs, yeah. terrorists, jihadists, whatever you want to call them, people who are not uh, Democrats and Republicans. But we can't go to Laos right. to kill, or and, and have let, let somebody else go to Laos to kill commies? I, the entire Laotian government is definitely yeah, on the better everything. off dead list. I mean, this is not something that we should be prosecuting. It's the Neutrality Act. Look back at World War II. Look at all the U.S. servicemen that went to, fly, uh, to, to fight with the Royal Air Force in, uh, 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 in Great Britain, to the point that the U.S. actually had to pass a law uh, uh, punching a hole in the Neutrality Act so that they could do that. I say they do that here. All the Congress has to do is pass a, uh, a law punching a hole in the Neutrality Act, failing that, if they won't do it, Bush needs to, uh, uh, to pardon him. Just get this over with, get it done, send, this, send the general back home. Maybe, maybe he'll never correct the horrible atrocities that are going on in his homeland. But he's here and he's a leader of the, uh, the Hmong community in the U.S. and, and they need him. Well, it's, it's, but it's, isn't it more complicated than that? Because can, everything's can, more complicated. Yeah, because I, I mean, What's well, complicated he's, he's is we have way too many laws. He's justified, but uh, you know, allowing him to uh, allowing a conspiracy to be, uh, to broker fire, you know, firearms and an army and a militia to go overthrow another government. I mean, that is the federal government's job. <laughs> <laughs> they hate competition. They hate competition. Yeah, well, and he is a hero. You're absolutely right. My father was a, a combat pilot in Vietnam, 106 combat missions. And those four guys who were saved by the Hmong. Their lives yeah. were saved unquestionably by the Hmong, and they are heroes, and he is a hero. Yeah, and, and, and this is a case, I'm quite clear. And this is the payback. This, yeah, this is the payback. And, and what's worse than that is here in Sacramento, right here in Sacramento, we should know all this. This is the Central Valley of California is one of the largest resettlement areas for, uh, uh, for the Hmong people. And they do tend to stick privately to their own neighborhoods. They're a very isolated group, and we don't know enough about them uh, here in Sacramento. And people really should be looking at this. And I think everybody should go and uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, HmongToday.com. Uh, 
hmongtoday.com. Check out the website. You can get the full story there. It's, it, it really is a must read. You have to know more about this, this whole issue.